Well, the beauty of collections like this, Ben, is you've got so much to play with. Literally everything within this amazing range is going to coordinate and work together perfectly. So it makes car making an absolute breeze, no matter whether you've been car making for 10, 20, 30 or plus years, or maybe this is day one of that car making journey. You can create the most stunning makes with this collection easily straight out of the box, which I absolutely love. But what we're going to start off first is with one of these fantastic edible style dies. And within this collection, we're actually giving you two of these different styles of edibles. But the one we're going to work with here is our fantastic Moroccan Lantern. And perhaps you've never seen an edible style die before. Well, they are fantastic because they give you so many different options. And what we mean by an edible die is one side will cut out of your car stock. So you can see here, we've got that cutting blade all around that right hand side of that die. So you can see the cutting blade along there that will cut out of the car stock. But that left hand side of that die there, there's no outline die around there. So that left hand side is going to stay within our car stock, which gives us so much versatility when we're crafting. What it means is that piece of car stock on that left hand side there can be as long or as short as you want you can literally trim that down so it's just a border or you can create a car base you can cut this into box lids box bases whatever you choose but because you've got the edible concept it gives you all that versatility what we're going to do here is we're going to cut it into our card base and i've created my own card base from a piece of multi-purpose card it's a five and a quarter by six inch card base so it's just going to fit onto my gemini junior plates that we've got here then I've got a couple of pieces of low tack tape. Always really important that you tape your dies into position just to make sure that they don't shift or move as they go through that die cutting machine. And it's going to ensure you've got that perfect placement, which is important uh, when we're lining this up onto our car base, just like so. I'm lining up so I've got an equal distance between that top extension there and the right hand side of the card and that bottom extension there and the right hand side of the card. Taping onto the waist because like we say, all that section there is going to be our card. So that's going to stay with in the car stock so anything there on the right hand side is actually going to cut out so we're safe to tape onto the right hand side of our car stock uh, because we know if that tape does get a little bit more tacky as it goes through that die cutting machine we do not need to worry because if that rips and tears that's going to be our waste anyway so using our gemini junior plates into our large scale machine now what we're going to wait for is we're going to wait for this pitch to slightly change and then we're just going to reverse it back out because we've just popped our die just at that top edge there all you need to do, you can hear the little bit of a click. I know when you first start die cutting, it can be like, have I done something wrong? What's that little click normal? Absolutely, it's normal because think of almost like if you're going over a speed bump on a road. Mm because we've got that die there up against the rollers. It's almost like that resistance as it goes through that rollers, as it goes through the machine. Uh, but it just means that when we hear that click, we know that it's gone all the way through. We've had that die cut all the way through our machine, so we can just pause and reverse it back out. And I know when we first start die cutting, so many people will say, make sure that whenever you're die cutting that you have your dies along the length of your machine you don't ever put your dies up against the rollers it won't cut yada 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 <laughs> quite frankly you've just seen i have just cut that die on that very top edge there literally straight against the rollers of the machine going against everything anyone ever tells you about die cutting and you can see with one pass through that die cutting machine just a couple of pieces there to flick out it is die cut absolutely perfectly let's bring in a piece of contrasting color car stock there and you can see how perfectly that has die cut with one pass through the machine so when people are telling you about never cut against the rollers well our gemini 2 can handle it with absolute ease which i think is incredible so that's our card base there, all cut into using that fantastic edible die. But of course, we can't see that so well with it being white against white. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in some of our mats and layers. And this is where our fantastic papers actually come into the fore. My goodness me, wow, look wait. at that. Yeah. I mean, if you want papers with depth, if you want papers with interest, with detail, these are going to be the ones for you. Look at all of the layers within there. That's it. You've got your background, you've got your foreground, you've got all those little extras, your little stars in there, you've got your florals, you've got those beads, and honestly, they look like real gold. It looks like it's foiled onto there, but it is just a printed paper and an uncoated paper as well. So if you are getting the full collection when it launches next week, you will be getting those fantastic shimmer ink pads included as well, which allows you to add that extra bit of shimmer, that extra bit of color onto your fantastic papers. And those colors are brand new shimmer ink pad colors. You'll have never seen those before. And they're totally exclusive to that fantastic Arabian Nights collection. So if you want all of those new shimmer ink pad colors, if you're anything like me and have been collecting those shimmer ink pads, you need to make sure you get your hands on those fantastic new colorways exclusive to our Arabian mm. Nights.
That linen car stock, of course, will be included as part of that collection as well. So literally everything you need to make the most beautifully professional coordinated cards uh, is included within this collection. I tend to favour quite small thin mats and layers when I'm doing my cards. So we've got a quarter of an inch increments between our mats and layers here. Uh -huh. And with this one, I've just got border left and right rather than top and bottom because this strip is just going to go onto the front section of my card. Now the glue that I'm using is our fantastic Collal All Purpose. It's the one that I favour when it comes to our mats and layers. Gives me that little bit of wiggle room, so if I need to manoeuvre uh, my mats and layers into position, maybe I'm not happy with them being straight and level. Uh, in the first instance, you've got that ability to just move them around as needed. So this piece, this larger piece, is going to go into the centre of our card. Oh, that paper. Honestly, it's one of those you can't stop looking at it. You look at it, you see a bit more detail. So the more you peer into it, the more you see, don't you? Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm noticing now we've got little tassels. That looks almost like a little poppy. You've got the lant in there. I yeah. mean, you know what I'm thinking when it comes to these papers. Of course, fussy cutting galore yeah. for absolute certain. That's going to be incredible to get all those extra embellishments cut out of there. And then that's going to go on the front, but I think we'll use a little bit of foam tape for that. But before we stick that down, our lanterns are looking pretty on there, but I want to bring in a little bit more dimension. I want to make them pop a little bit more. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of faux paper piecing. I do love a bit of paper piecing, but it can be a little bit time consuming. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of faux paper piecing. So what we're going to do is just lay some of our orange card behind uh, some of these lanterns. So I'm going to stick um, part of this section. So I'm just going to apply glue onto the lantern, so not all the detail around, because what we'll do is we'll apply our paper or our cardstock even to the reverse, and then we'll just snip around it. So we're not going to have orange all over the backing, it's just going to be around those uh, selected areas. So it's going to be almost like uh, we've got the light shining through onto these beautiful lanterns. So let's just line that up, making sure that they're all covered. There we go. And then let's just take our scissors. I'm going to remove some of the excess cardstock to start with just so it makes it a little bit more manageable and I'm not fighting with uh, a load of cardstock around the edge to cut that out. So that's our first bit there. That just mm -hmm. makes it a little bit easier, a little bit more manageable. Of course, you could be doing your real uh, paper piece, and if you want to call it that. Um, it just is a little bit, uh, a little bit time consuming when you've got some of your smaller areas like we have onto here. But of course, if that's something that you, you like to do, if you love your paper piecing, then this is going to be a dream to paper piece for sure. You put your film behind there as well. Oh you, my yeah? goodness, yes, I hadn't thought of that. What a fabulous idea. That would look amazing. The I'm thinking uh, your tropical sunset would be nice. Your coral would be lovely as well. Yeah. Uh, so you could literally just do the same sort of technique. So just um, pop that behind and then you could just uh, cut round like we are doing here. So just taking your scissors and we're just going to make sure that we're snipping around. We don't want any of the excess orange cardstock showing mm. at the edges. So I'm just going to do one section at a time and then that's just going to leave us with that beautiful orange card only behind the um, detail that we've got in these beautiful lanterns. I mean, of course, it's going to work perfectly with everything else within the collection, with everything that's got that gorgeous Moroccan look and feel. But I know a lot of people, they like to have lanterns in their garden, uh, lanterns at perhaps outdoor events, at weddings. So maybe you could actually be giving this a, um, a wedding theme, a wedding vibe, if you so choose. Uh, that could look gorgeous as well. I've just lost that from that top section there, so I'm just going to pop a little bit more glue, make sure I've got plenty of tape onto that top one there. I think the bottom two are done. Bottom two are done, it's just that top one. So let's just re-stick that back into position, just like so. Give that a little bit of burnish, and that will allow that glue to actually be activated. Just the heat from your hand is enough uh, to burnish that uh, glue into position. And then all we're going to do is going to complete the cut at the top there, and then around this bottom edge as well. And that's just going to give us that lovely, almost like faux illuminated effect behind here. Another lovely option with this die would be to pop some acetate behind. And then you could actually use some of your alcohol pens to colour that in, almost like a uh, stained glass window effect. That would look absolutely beautiful as well. But that's our um, little bit of orange added behind there nice and easy. Now let's bring in that matte and layer uh, and then we're actually going to use some of our foam tape onto the reverse of that just to lift it a little bit more proud from the front of our card base. So we've got some tape there so one length along there and all of your glues, all of your adhesives as always you will find over on the Crafters Companion website. I know we've got lots of different glues, lots of different tapes, whatever you favour there's something uh, for every style and every sort of project that you might be working on. So that's that, all good to go. 
and then we're just going to line that up so we've got an even border along that left hand side and that's going to be the front of our card decorated just like so beautiful how gorgeous are those papers mm. but we're going to fill this space a little bit more by bringing in some more elements from this fantastic collection and this is where we're going to use the magical window scenes and this is a fantastic set of both stamps and dies so lots of versatility lots of options with this one set now like we can see on the packaging here we actually had a look at this sample earlier uh, in real life so to speak you can be using those shimmer ink pads that you get included as part of that collection to actually create your own backgrounds but if you're not as confident when it comes to those inky backgrounds perhaps you uh, are wanting to create a quicker card then you can be using your pattern papers as well and that's exactly what we're going to do for this particular card so let's take a piece of paper and we've cut this down to uh, two and a quarters in width. Length is um, going to be around about four and three quarters. It doesn't matter. It's completely up to you what measurements you want to go uh, with for this particular design, just depending on the look you're wanting to create. And then we're just going to take one of our fabulous dies from here. So let's go in. Was it that one I used? I'm just having a little look. So many choices because you've got all of these different tops that we've got in here. So it's up to you how long that strip of that window might be. But you've got all of those different decorative edges that you can be placing onto your paper. So we're going to bring our die cutting uh, plate back into play here. And we're going to line up this uh, almost like an edgeable die, if you like, at the top edge of our cardstock there. It, this is the exact die that uh, was used on that gorgeous sample earlier to actually create the top edge of the tag which looks amazing as well so give me even more options completely outside this collection as well and we're going to do the same little trick here where we're just going to run that through we can hear that that's cut and then we're just going to reverse it back out using our gemini junior plates in the gemini 2 just saves us so much time means we can get on with the fun bit the creative bit uh, a little bit quicker and do the bits of crafting that we really enjoy so there we go we've cut out our lovely piece onto there just like so so we've got our gorgeous um shape there love the fact that we've included that just as the top of die there so it's up to you how wide or long that piece of cardstock is that is entirely your choice mm -hmm. then all we've gone ahead and done already is we've taken some of the fabulous stamps from this collection and i love the way that on the packaging there we've got all the gorgeous silhouettes we've got that beautiful crisp black stamping against that lovely um bright background but what we've done is something a little bit different we've actually gone in with some of our white embossing powder there so all I've done is I've taken a, a clear watermark ink pad, I've stamped the designs over the top of there and I've literally just heat embossed using some of our white embossing powder. Super, super simple and easy, but just gives you a completely different effect compared to using uh, your black cardstock. I just thought as well, not black cardstock, even your black ink pad, uh, just as well matches nicely with the white cardstock that we've got on our background there. This is going to go onto the front of our card just like so so let's bring in some of our foam tape or foam pads just to make sure that we raise this proud from our background to make it really stand off and make it that focal point of our card so a few foam pads i always say a few foam pads and always end up adding maybe quite a few more than a few uh, but here we go this is going to make the difference and make our cards have that lovely uh, dimensional finish to them so peel the backs off of those and that's just going to sit on that left hand side trying to have an even space in left and right top and bottom just so that's nice and central what i've also done with this tag is i've actually rounded the uh, bottom corners there just to keep it uh, tying in with that top section there we've got the nice smooth curves then i've also stamped out that um, exact same lantern again mm -hmm. but this time onto a separate piece of paper i've fussy cut it out and we're going to use that as a separate little embellishment onto our card uh -huh. just going to Cut down my foam pad a little bit, it's a little bit too large for that topper, but not to worry. Just chop that down to size, and then that's going to lay over that left hand side just as that extra little embellishment, like mirroring what we've got on the top of that. And then finally, just to finish it off, I've taken one of the sentiments that's also included as part of the collection. He embossed once again uh, onto one of our fantastic pattern papers. And that's just going to go down there, I think something like that, with a foam pad, just to finish off our design like so. Gone for joyous occasion because, of course, that could be literally any yeah. occasion at all. And that's something else I absolutely adore about this collection. These can be creating cards for almost any occasion that you like. They're going to be ideal for scrapbook pages as well. So, so much versatility with this amazing collection. You can see 
in not very much time at all, you can create stunning cards with absolute ease. And that's the beauty of having a coordinated collection, a collection that's something a little bit different as well. I love the Arabian Nights collection.